hey welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing all good today so i feel it feels like it's been a while since i last filmed i think it must have been like a week or so but i've been pre-filming anyway today i want to play with two palettes i haven't gotten into a while so i think it was grace that requested a look using the violet crush palette and the big violet palette yeah these two together combined i don't think i've done that before no i'm pretty sure i haven't but yeah, I'm going to test out a new foundation as well. This is, let me see, this is a foundation sample. This is the YSL All Hours Foundation in the shade B10. So I've got that to test out. And I've also brought some new lip products from Beauty Bay, their own range. I've got the Beauty Bay Lip Liner in the shade Whip and their Matte Lipstick in the shade Freckle. So I thought that would be a good combo. So yeah, I'm just going to play with some new makeup and just do a tutorial like always. But yeah, if you do like these type of videos, you sit down and get ready with me. So then hit subscribe button down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. This is always, I need to put a lip mask on. I went out on the weekend, it is now Monday. So I booked off Monday work just for that extra day to recover. And yeah, I'm feeling fine now, but yesterday I felt, I felt horrendous. So I've got a really dry mouth, dry lips, and it's just not a vibe, so yeah. Hmm. I really don't like the taste of watermelon. Like in beauty products, but food wise, absolutely love it smelling him no okay so let's get on this eyeshadow um i've got bb eyeshadow primers i've got the ah Frau freeze wax i've brought enough one of these because this is literally nearly run out it's crazy i do have to i have noticed i do have to spray a bit of it it's just a setting spray towards the end of the container because it gets a bit i don't know it gets a bit weird which i have not noticed before only when i've nearly run out but yeah, I brought another one of those. So let's stick these brows up. Yeah, I just feel like it's got a weird consistency as soon as I've reached like the um, I don't know what I'm saying. I've literally run out of this. There's like no gel in the middle. It's all around the end, like edges of the container. So it's like I have to pick it out from there. It's just got a weird consistency now. But when I next get paid, I want to try out the Unicorn Cosmetics Bare Brow because I hear that could be a potential dupe, dupe for the freeze brow wax gel weather. So that is on my wish list. But yes, I went out for the first time since everything was opened, like lockdown lifted on the weekend. It was such fun, like. It was just a really good experience because like everyone's been waiting for that moment to actually go out. It was very lively, there was a lot there. And it was just great to see everyone dancing again, no masks, no worries actually. Yeah, it was good fun, it was good to see my friend again. The after effects is not great though. <laughs> I always regret it the next day, but it was just great in the moment. Literally, I've never been so excited before for a night out just because it was just so long. Oh, it does make it does make you realise though I cannot keep doing it. Like, <laughs> um, it wears you out. I'm getting old. I couldn't do it every weekend. Saying that I am going out on Friday, but I'm gonna try. Stay stable. <laughs> right, I've been doing my brows a lot. Um. So let's leave them like What I tend to do, I let the gel sit on my brows for a bit, just so it dries, and then I go in with a pat, uh, a brow product, like a brow pencil or such. Let's get into this eyeshadow primer. So I've got the Beauty Bay Eye Base. This is in the shade number three. Literally, <laughs> I've walked to the supermarket and back to do my shopping, and I've never done that before. It's like. It's gotta be at least 40 minutes away or half an hour. I'd say half an hour and my arm was absolutely aching. Like, can I, I only had one shopping bag, but it does take, I thought it'd be fine, I'd be fine, but does anyone do that? Like walk to the supermarket, to the shop and then walk back. It is hard. 
but it all depends like how far you are from the supermarket. It's so weird seeing everyone with masks on in the supermarket though, like obviously there's a lot of other people that have still got their mask on which is absolutely fine, but it's just weird. I'm just not used to it. Right, okay so with this look I just want to do like a pinky purple look, um, probably because I don't know what else to do, but I am going to start off with a shade from the Violet Crush I'd say. I'm going to go with this pinky purple. Let's go with that. I think I'm just going to put this in the crease for now. I haven't played a lot with the Violet Crush to be honest. I don't know why. It's just not a palette that I go to because if I want to do a purple look I tend to use the Violet palette more. Um, even though there's not a lot of purples in that strange um you would think it would be you know judging from the color of the packaging and i don't know what else but this is definitely a purple palette i don't know because there's only two purple three purples in there i'd say there's more purple tones in the violet crush than this first one weird what i have been using a lot recently is my other palettes like my higher end palettes like the made by mitchell palette my jacqueline hill palette I've been going back into those again, the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star. I've been enjoying going back into those palettes because I've just done so many looks with these. I'm kind of getting a gauge of how they work now. So, yeah, it's a nice color. Yeah, there was no way I could have filmed a video yesterday. I was, yeah, too hungover for that. So today was the perfect day to do it. I'm glad I got work booked off today. What shall I do now with this look? Um, hmm. I don't know if you can get these separately. This palette came with the Chocoholic gift set, what they brought out around Christmas time. So I'm sorry, I don't think you can get this small palette. Of course you could get it on places like Depop or something if someone's selling them, but at the minute you can't get this palette separately. You can get the Violet one, but Violet Crush, no. Normally they bring out those palettes from the gift set out separately but for some reason they didn't do that with this this time around I don't know why. The shade of purple is nice but it's not the most pigmented purple that I've tried in a palette. Like I'm having to find myself to keep replying the colour just to get the payoff that I want. So for the lower lash line I'm just gonna take this shade from the Violet Crush and I'm just gonna pop that on the lower lash line there. This is a shimmer shade, so I don't know how this is going to work. Just kind of want something smoky around here. So now I want to play with some of the shimmers in the big palette. Um, I'm thinking of going into... Hmm, what's that like? I'm thinking of going into Violaceous. This shade here. Pop that on with a brush. I probably will wet it because it's been a long time since I've done this palette and I can't remember what it's like. I'm just hoping it's not crumbly. I'm just using a Primark watermelon spray. Let's give this a whirl. Oh yeah, that's nice. I think I'm pouring it silver in the inner corner. That's pretty. I feel like I do need to darken up that corner because I feel like it needs a lot more depth. So I probably will go into a more of a smoky shade. Right, so now I'm gonna go into a silver. So I'm gonna go back into the Violet Crush. And, ooh, which silver shall I go in with? I'm thinking of going into this one. And then that in the tear duct. Yeah, let's go with that. So, I'm going to take this because it's got like a, a bluish tone to it. Hmm. Quite nice. Yeah, I like that. That's well cute. Ah. Oh. I'm going to leave this makeup on all day because I really do like it. It's really cute. Right, we need some darkness. So, how am I going to do this now? I'm going to take some of Desired because it's quite dark to what we've used before. I'm taking a little drop. Not drop. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, 
just hopefully add some darkness around here because I feel like it does need it this will hopefully change the tone of that purple yeah I feel like that's done what it needs to do but I do want to go even more darker but there isn't really much darker shades in this palette it's just shimmers okay so I'm gonna go into desired again because this was quite dark and I'm gonna put it in the lower lash line let's give that a go Okay, so I'm going to take this silver from the Violet Crush and I'm going to pop it into the tear duct. Yeah, with this you don't need to wet it because it just shines off straight away. There we go. His eyes so far. I'm really liking it. I still think I want to darken it a bit. I'm going to try to take praise the tiniest bit. I don't know how this is going to work because this is a shimmer. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to go my Ciate Wonder Wand, is it? Yeah, Wonder Wand eyeliner. I feel like we need something on the brow bone, so I'm gonna take so I'm gonna take this silver again and just put it up there. There we go. I think it's time to go onto the base now. What do we think? I should have put my primer on. I totally forgot. Right, okay, so for a primer, I haven't been in this in a while. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow. Gets get glowy. I've started using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream again, and you know what? I noticed such a difference over the weekend. When I was really hungover, I had really dry skin. It was like that sh that magic cream did something, and I noticed it because I'd never noticed what it did before, but. I certainly noticed it over the weekend, like, it just draw everything out. I really do rate Charlotte Tilbury stuff, it's so expensive. I love the glow on this, yeah. Okay, so let's go into this YSL, what was I called there? YSL All Hours Foundation B10. That's the shade, B10. Um, I've never tried any of YSL's base products. Actually, no, I've tried the primer with the gold specks in which I really did like but other than that I haven't tried anything else from YSL so this should be interesting Ooh. that's a nice colour I don't even know what this foundation claims to do, but so far, first impressions, I'm liking how it looks. It looks quite dewy, but not too dewy. A nice amount of dewiness. Sometimes I just don't like it when it's too dewy. I really like how that foundation looks. I'm not sure how much it is because I feel it's going to be an expensive one, but I like it. It does feel like I've got foundation on. I wouldn't say it's very lightweight, but the coverage of it is, I'd say it's medium. Yeah. I like the finish of it. It doesn't look too dewy. I wouldn't say it's matte, definitely not. Um, but yeah, I do like that foundation. It's not my favorite, what I've tried out of the list. I still love the Beauty Bakery one, but it's still nice. So I'm gonna go with a cream contour. This is the So Su Suzanne Jackson. I've got it in the shade Cool. Yeah, shade Cool. I've been using cream contours again. Um, don't know why. I just put a lot on my hand and then I go in with a brush from the hand. Just, 
I, I don't know when I put when I use it from the actual container I feel like I'm putting too much on so like with this I have more control and this just melts into your skin melts Such an easy blend. There's just something great about cream products. They, I don't know, they just, they just melt into the skin more. I feel like with cream products, it does make the foundation look more natural. This is nowhere near natural though. Like, um, but I feel like with powder products, it can make makeup look heavy. So, mm, yeah, I like that. I am gonna put on uh, a liquid blush. This is the Made by Mitchell Peach Sugar. I like to use this as a base and then layer it up after I've done my powder, because I'll lose the color once I've done my powder. And I'll just stipple it into my <laughs> now I'll put a bit on my nose as well. So a powder that I've been really liking, I don't think I've showed it on my channel, I think I might have shown it once but this is the Ciate everyday vacate powder i wore this on the weekend and yeah it came through all right i mean i did have to take a powder with me just to do some touch ups but this powder it's really nice i like it a lot that reminds me i need to buy myself a new powder because i lost my number seven powder when i was out and yeah that kind of upset me so so what I like to do with this, I'll I'll sprinkle out some powder on the lid and then I'll take a damp beauty sponge, load it up. You know what, I haven't done concealer. What is it with me? It can't me. Right, concealer, two face ball in this way, shades one. Has to be. Has to be. And then I will load up that powder, Ciate Vacate powder, and I will go in, press. And I've just been loving doing powders like this recently. I don't know why. Not baking, but applying it with a sponge, I've just been really liking it. There's just something about high and powder on the sponge. And I just mainly go in my T-zone, but under my eyes as well. Um, kind of leave the rest of the remaining face, but I mainly just go on the under my eyes and my T-zone. Can you think about these though? They get so messy. They get really messy, but I guess it's worth it. I just wish there was a better like mechanism for powders without having to have it go everywhere okay so now for bronzer i'm gonna go in the l'oreal back to bronze loving this i ran out of my hula which i really need to get another one i feel like i don't need it yet because this is just this is just doing bits anyway Okay, so I definitely need to go with another blush because we have lost the main bad bitch on blush. It does make me think, what is the point of doing that? But I don't know, I think it's just the process. I like the process. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so a blush that I've been liking in a minute is uh, Delilah Cosmetics in the shade Dusk. I've been liking this blush. It's very nice. This is quite pigmented, so I'm going to take a bit and just build it up. But yeah, I've been loving putting blush up here as well. Oh dear. 
don't know why. I've just seen quite a lot of people doing it. I'm gonna just go over my sponge. I'll use my watermelon spray as well. So I can go in with my highlighter. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in my Flexitarian Highlighter, Super Shock Highlighter from Colourpop. It's been a while since I this. This is blinding. This is blinding. Look at that. You probably need more than one swipe if you want to get it blinding, but yeah. Look at that. Okay, let's get on to these lipsticks. So, I brought two lip products from Beauty Bay. This is the lip liner. I got it in the shade Whip. So, I haven't tried this out yet. So, I, want to, I specifically wanted to do a video just to try out these products, but also to test those palettes out in combination with Joy. So, let me swatch it first. That's what it looks like. And this is the colour. Doesn't feel draggy. Hmm. What I like about this, it kind of looks like my lip colour, so that makes it look quite natural. You know what, I really rate that lip liner, it's so nice. Very creamy, doesn't feel draggy on the lips, and I really like the colour. Mm, it's quite cool tone, so I think that will look good with this eye makeup. Because it's purple. Right, this is Freck, and this is a matte lipstick. So this is what the shade looks like, very cool toned. I think it look, it will look okay with this lip liner, who knows. But that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, let's see what this looks like. Oh, creamy. First impressions, creamy. That is so soft. Wow. This lip combo. I'm here for it. I like it a lot. You know what? I'm going for the matte lips today. I'm just going to appreciate the matte look. Um, that's such a nice lipstick and lip liner. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do any fake lashes today because I can't be bothered. So I am going to use... Ooh, what have I haven't been in a while. This is the Revolution Big Lash XL Volume Scar. This is advertised to be volumising, but I wouldn't say it is. No, I will have to go with a different mascara over this. I do like it for a natural look, but it's not volumising. Right, I need to go with a different mascara because I just don't think that mascara is a doing the volumising. So I'm going to use the Benefit Magnet Mascara because I believe this is quite plumpy in a good way. That's a bit better. Oh, that's much better. Right, I'm just going to finish off with my brows. So I'm going to, so I'm just going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is my second tube. This is in the shade Taupe. Always love this stuff. So guys, here is the completed makeup look using the Violet palette and the Violet Crush together. Yeah, I do think these palettes work really well together just because they're the similar tones and that. But I don't think you would need both of them. If I was, I mean, you can't get this anyway because you have to get the chocolate gift set. But if you could get this separately, I'd probably just go with this because you've got more option. I mean, you can still create a nice look with it. Um, but I, I don't know where it is. I just never gravitate towards this palette for some reason. I think it's just because it's hidden, but it's never on show, maybe. Um, but yeah, as for the other products I've tried out today, mm, my favourite has to be the Beauty Bay lip products. I've never tried Beauty Bay lip products before, and yeah, it's really wowed me, and I want to try out more of them, definitely. So the lip liner I got is in shade Wit, and the lipstick I got is in shade Freckle, and I think it is such a gorgeous combination together. I think they look really nice together. 
very creamy like I said. I'm really happy with these. I'm probably most excited about these two, what I've tried. The foundation, the YSL foundation what I tried. Really like it. I mean, I've got, I can't really fault it. I mean, it's not a wear test as such, but just looking out straight on, I don't find any issues with it. It hasn't clung to any dry patches or anything. Yeah, it just looks like it's really blending nice into my skin. Hmm. The Ciate Vaco Powder, really like this. I, I really liked it from the get-go when I first used it. I just can't remember if I used it on my video before, but this powder is such a good one. But yeah, if you got this far to the video, thank you so much for watching. Do let me know in the comments what you think of this makeup look. And have you got both of these palettes? Do you ever use them together? Or which one do you prefer? But yeah, I'm going to leave it there today. If you did enjoy this video, of course, do give it a big thumbs up. And hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any other Get Ready With Me's. Let me know what else you want me to test out. What palettes and stuff, etc. Or would you like to see a particular look? Like... A specific colour you want me to try out. I just like to play with different colours, what people ask me to do, because it gives me more of an idea of what kind of makeup look to do. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I hope you have a lovely day, night, rose time watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!